Let's say you have a bunch of audio loops in your sound library. Just audio loops that you've collected from all over the place. They haven't been turned into Rex loops. They're just audio loops, WAV files, uh, AIFF files. And you want to start building an arrangement out of these audio loops. Well, did you know that you can drag and drop these audio loops directly into Reason's sequencer window? It's pretty cool. Check this out. Right in my browser, I can audition the loops. There's a kick drum. Synth line. Some bongos. A little drum loop. So they're all different tempos. No, but that doesn't matter. We're just going to drag and drop them in. Watch this. Start off with a loop here. Drag this in. Oh, and remember, wherever you have your play bar is where the loop is going to drop in. So the play bar there was at uh, bar one, beat one. Let's drop it in here at uh, bar three. So that was a loop. Drop some bongos in here. So even if I go in here and drop it like this, it's still going to snap to the play bar there. But it's easy enough, I can just drag it up front here. And let's drag these other ones in here. There's a kick drum. And the bass line. So as we can see, they're all crazy different timing. But uh, we'll snap these up front here. And we can solo this and take a listen to it and see how many bars it is. So I'll count that. One, two, three, four. So it's one bar. Easy enough. It's one bar. And right now, look at this. It's uh, at 120. It's almost two bars long. And if we were to play all these loops together, hold your ears. Nothing's in time, right? But there is a tempo scaling method uh, directly in the sequencer window which works great. What I do here is make sure that I have the selector tool selected. And then I hold down Option on the Mac or Control on a Windows computer. And when I hold this down with the clip selected, and I, and I grab the little end there, I, I get the Scale Temple tool. And I can stretch this loop out. Notice I have snapped a bar on, so I can snap this direct to the bars. So I know that this is one bar. I'll snap to one bar. Done deal. This is uh, one bar. I'll snap this one to one bar. Uh, this one, not sure. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Obviously, four bars. So right now it's just to almost six bars in length. Uh, we'll hold down the option key here on my Mac. Make sure it's selected. There it goes. And there's four bars. And this one is clearly, we'll take a quick listen to it, but I, I actually already know this one is, is uh, two bars. So we'll just adjust that. And um, just take a listen to that. So all these loops together now, they should be in tempo if I did this right. And they are, they're in tempo. Uh, it's too fast right now, so let's go down to uh, 110 BPM. Spinning at 110. And let's uh, copy paste these through here. And set our loop. And take a listen to this. Make some volume adjustments.
and that's how you can very easily beat match all of your loops, your audio loops coming in, and uh, build an arrangement very quickly in Reason using audio loops. Great fun, really easy to do. I look forward to hearing what you guys cook up.